talking about your product? Yeah, Retrocausal is the leading computer vision platform for uh, activity recognition for manual assembly processes, specifically targeting the manufacturing sector to help improve first time yields and decrease manual assembly errors on production lines. Yeah, so how does it work exactly? Yeah, so we've built a purpose-built platform that enables anybody within a manufacturing group to quickly and easily deploy a computer vision-based platform to increase the quality of their uh, products that are coming off the production lines. So by using nothing more than an ordinary webcam and an edge-based GPU-enabled computer, uh, we now provide real-time capabilities to alert operators when and if they make a mistake, enabling them to resolve it right then and there to mitigate any persistent errors from happening later down uh, in the manufacturing process. Yeah, so for example, uh, you're in a manufacturing warehouse, they're assembling a, an electronic component, right? Yep. This camera, now I see here it's mounted on the rack where their tools are being stored. Um, is this the location generally that it, it would be? The location can be flexible. Uh, the best way to think about our technology uh, is if you as a human can look from the perspective of the camera yeah. and understand what the operator is doing from an activity standpoint without having to squint or think extra hard yeah. of what the operator could be doing, then our system should be able to do the same. Yeah, So, and I see here it looks like it's actually mounted on, the, on their head, so it's really the first person view. There is some degree of flexibility. Uh, depending on the manufacturer or team that we're engaged with, uh, the, there's some variance in how the system is set up. Um, you know, Most of the time, operators don't want to wear extra devices, which is why leveraging just a simplistic webcam and mounting it anywhere within the facility is sufficient enough uh, for the operator and for our software. Yeah, and so what type of software are you guys running to detect uh, this is gonna be a, a complex assembly guide that it's following? Yeah, so we've actually built our own technology from the ground up. Uh, our co-founders are considered the foremost experts in human activity understanding. Uh, they have deep background uh, coming from the Microsoft HoloLens platform uh, and kind of understood some of the gaps that that head-mounted device had when it came to practical application. And so they leveraged that knowledge and their background in computer vision to build a proprietary system uh, that we built from the ground up that allows us to build these complex computational models. Yeah, so for example, uh, if you have this complex electronic that you're assembling, mm -hmm. um, do you have to go one time and do it with the mounted wherever it is uh -huh. and then label like, okay, now it's this step and this goes here yep. and then you need to just collect a lot of data? Yeah, it's a great question. So one of the big advantages that we have is the ease of use. So what we ask from our partners is to simply record about five shifts worth of data ideally from different operators for us to collect a variance in how operators actually perform the task. From there, all we ask our customers to do is label one of those cycles by providing timestamps of when the specific cycle uh, activities happen. So when does step one start, when does step one end, when does step two start, when does step two end, all the way through the bill of process. And then we actually have some technology that transfers automatically those labels to the broader data set that we've collected over those five shifts. And then within about six hours or so, once the data set is completely labeled, uh, we're able to fully train a production grade model for the customer to then put into their uh, manufacturing facility. So you literally just have to assemble it one time and then label it one time, and then the rest of it is just data that um, is used to reinforce it. Basically, right? So they will just set the system up on day one, hit record, and they'll just let it run for five shifts, collecting all of that training data, they will select one of the cycles to annotate, and then we'll use the rest for training and validation to build that model uh, and account for all the variants and ways that an operator might actually perform the task. And then all said and told, within about two and a half weeks, they have the ability to then push the model to a production setting. Yeah, and so is this primarily for electronics uh, assembly? It's not, so the platform is actually vertically agnostic. Uh, we do a lot of work in the automotive sector, uh, we also work uh, with several medical uh, device manufacturers, consumer electronics. Uh, there's no real limitation to where the platform can be deployed, uh, as long as there's some level of manual assembly uh, involved in building the components. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you.